Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on powders that do a really good job of blurring and smoothing the skin. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have five here that I actually wanna talk about. I have one honorable mention, you know, I just wanna talk about that. It's been so long since I've done a best powders video, like a video dedicated to it. I think the last one I did was back in 2019. I've um, since been using newer powders uh, to me and I wanted to share them with you. And I'm sure you all know a lot of powders claim to blur and smooth and do all of that good stuff. And then when you actually get it and you see it and you're applying it on your skin, it's not really meeting your standards. One little tip that I wanted to share with you all to see you know, how well a powder actually blurs or smooths. If you take a picture of yourself, um, not with all of the uh, smoothing effects uh, before you edit it, but a good blurring powder will actually blur all of your lines and wrinkles or whatever you have without there being a need to actually go in and edit. That's one thing that I kind of judge when I'm trying to tell if it's a good blurring powder or a smoothing powder. I'll take a picture up close you know, and we all know where we have flaws and things like that. And if I'm wearing the powder and it smooths it out and you know, I really don't have to edit the picture, you know, cause let's be real, I edit some of my photos. <laughs> <laughs> I do edit. Um, I don't do a lot of fine tuning, but I do edit my photos. But, you know, in regards to that, you all are aware of what my skin actually looks like before makeup. But anyway, I digress. Um, that's one tip that you can actually use to see if the powder is actually blurring well. Just take a picture and see if it actually smooths it out. See if you need to edit. And if you don't, might have a good blurring powder. Anyway, that's just one thing that I do. Let me know if you have any good tips out there uh, to determine if a powder is a good blurring or smoothing powder. So with all of that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. Again, I have five powders and one uh, little honorable mention. So let's get into the first one. And the first one would be by Beauty Blender and this is their Bounce. Uh, powder. I actually have it in nutmeg. This is a beautiful blurring powder. And one thing that I do like about this powder, some people might not like this uh, so much, but it does have like some uh, crystals or gemstones. I think they call it gemstones. Or they have something in that which when you go out into the light, you can see a very, 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 very small bit of it. You know, it just looks really good in the light it's um a fun powder if you ask me and you know please don't get scared and just be like oh no i'm not gonna get that but like i said you have to be out in, in the sun with the sun actually beaming on you for you to actually see it but like in indoors you know just under reg regular lighting you really don't see it but this powder is so beautiful so finely milled and i also use their foundation their t they have a tint a foundation a concealer I have all of that so you know when they came out with the powder oh and I also have the setting spray um, but anyway when they came out with the powder I just I actually had to try it so if you're in the hunt for a powder that you know does have those extra added features this would definitely be a good one to check out and hey it's also got some really good ingredients in it and guys you all know I'm, I'm a stickler for that and you know in regards to that I know that uh, you can't have a product where everything is going to be perfect. I do understand that. I just wanted to throw that out there. But uh, with that being said, this one does have some good ingredients in it as well. The next powder that I have is by Revlon and this is the Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. And this powder actually surprised me. I just saw this in the grocery store probably a year back or so and I was like, oh, I'll try it. And I thought it was really, really, really pretty. Um, I also like the fact that for it to be a drugstore uh, brand and for it to be really affordable there as well as leaving parabens out. A lot of times when you go in the store, you'll see that parabens are in a lot of products. And, and as you all know, parabens are just placed in a product to keep it from going bad. And you know, speaking of which, if you see parabens in it, 
<laughs> that 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 product is gonna last a long long time because them parabens don't play but anyway um this one is really it's really nice very very pretty very uh, has a very smoothing uh type of effect without you having to just put a case load on it uh, they do call it a translucent powder and they say that you know even though it, it some of it's tinted it actually is translucent i would just get if you're a, uh, my shade just go ahead and get the darkest shade uh, i think and of course if you're light skin get the lightest but anyway super gorgeous definitely check this one out because i think this is like 10 or 12 bucks so very good powder the next one that i have is by terry and this is their hyaluronic tinted hydro powder i really like this one to set my under eyes i have two shades and um anytime i want to you know of course have that really really smooth look because this powder is very very finely milled i always elect to use this one because it does have hyaluronic acid in it it does look pretty all over the skin i just find that um uh, I think the darkest or the deepest shade that they have is 400 or might be 500. But uh, I think, I, I feel as though it would be good if they could go deeper with this shade because this powder is so beautiful, so finely milled. And then, you know, it's got uh, hyaluronic acid in it, which is gonna help your skin retain moisture. It's just going to help keep your skin from drying out. But anyway, this does a super job of smoothing and blurring the skin. All right, so the next one is a powder, but it's like a luminous powder. And guys, this is another one that is so gorgeous. This is the Jacqueline Hill Luminous Powder. And this one is so gorgeous. It's so pretty. Did I say it's so pretty? It's so pretty. Kind of in the same family as the Bound by Beauty Blender. Uh, but not really, really, it's a little bit more luminous and you kind of get the idea that you're putting highlighter on all over your face. You kind of get that, you kind of get that vibe, especially when you look at it, but it, it's not like that. It's not like that. It also looks beautiful in the sun. These powders, this one too, these would be perfect for summer, just out in the sun. Your skin will be just really smooth, blurring, and just have a really, uh, nice luminous beautiful look to it guys you have to try it and you know with the return policy at Ulta that's where I got this from if you don't like it you could take it back so I mean dare I say that but this is definitely one to try because it is hands down beautiful that I, all right so the last one that I have up before I get to the honorable mention is by Fashion Fair and this is their iconic setting powder so here's the deal this one doesn't claim to you know blur but it does claim to smooth this is another one that's super pretty on the skin and I'm still trying to figure out if I just love the color or if, what is it exactly all I know is it's beautiful on the skin beautiful it's got some good ingredients in it um, I really like the fact that it plays well a lot of these products well I'm not gonna say a lot you know you can run into products that don't play well with others and this powder you know a lot of times I like to use creams sometimes I may apply the powder for whatever reason put on a cream on top of it like if I use a, a cream highlighter or cream blush this one plays very well um, she's really good on the playground she likes everybody uh, she's not antisocial she's sweet she's lovely and you gotta try it and the honorable mention that i want to talk about this is another um setting powder but this is a under eye setting powder by jacqueline hill and do you remember in the beginning of the video i was talking about taking a picture uh before you edit that's if you edit not everybody fine tunes their photos but if you do um this one especially you know you use it under your eyes <laughs> that's what it's for but um, especially if you notice you have uh, really fine lines and wrinkles and things like this. This one does a super job, a super job. When I first tried it, the only thing is you have to use a very small amount of it because you can mess up, you can, you just have to use a little, a little bit of it. But anyway, the first time that I used it, I took a picture and I looked under, you know, I was looking to see, you know, whatever was going on with my face. And I looked under my eyes and I was thinking, I didn't, I 
didn't edit this photo. And so I was going back and looking at other apps, didn't. And if you enlarge it, it will literally, all that stuff that you have under, or that I had under here, it just literally blur. It looked, it looked as if I had taken the, um, the little pen that goes with your phone and just blurred, you know, blurred that out. So anyway, if you're looking for a good blurring under eye powder, this is the girl. This is the girl, you gotta try. And again, you can get it at Ulta, try it. If you don't like it, just take it back. So there you go, short and sweet. Those are my top powders for blurring and smoothing the skin. Let me know, have you tried any of these powders? Or if not, let me know what some of your favorite uh, blurring and smoothing powders are. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.